Welcome, Adam Bazalgette here, two-time PGA Teacher of the Year Award winner down here in beautiful Naples, Florida. Today we're going to look at some of these awkward slopes and lies you have around the golf course and what are appropriate adjustments and ball positions specifically for that. Let's see. So today's topic about ball position on these odd lies was written in by David Kutch. Feel free to write in yourself and make a request and I'll try to get to that. If you like these videos, by the way, please subscribe to the channel. We've got lots of content and hopefully lots more coming. So let's have a look then and let's see today ball above feet, ball below feet. We'll save the other slopes for another day. Let's check it out. Okay, so ball above feet. This is a pretty significant slope as well. The lie's good, but it's a challenge. I've got about 165 yards or so to the green. A couple of points for you. Number one, anytime you're in one of these challenging side slope, up slope type situations, always try to make the adjustments necessary or as many as you can in your setup. It's much more difficult to try to alter your swing. So try to make the adjustments in your setup. The other thing is, don't try for normal distance. The more challenged your balance is, the more you want to just try to stay stable and swing smoothly. Solid contact is king. So remember those two things as we get started. Now, speaking of setup adjustments, let's see what adjustments we'd make here. First thing, I might stand a little bit taller if it's a severe hill and maybe even lean fractionally into the hill just for balance. But the big adjustment here is shorten up on the golf club. Most people know this, but they don't shorten up nearly enough. They just wiggle down the club a little bit. So shorten down to where you feel like your arms can go out at pretty normal length there and that you're not going to stab the club into the hill. Now in terms strictly of ball position, which is one of the questions in this video, when the ball is above your feet, I wouldn't change it a lot. I'd leave it about like it is. However, if it's a really severe slope, you're probably going to find you almost have no real use of your lower body. I might play it back just a little bit because often you'll release the club a little bit earlier. So let's have a little go here, see how we do. I've shortened up, oh, three, four inches on that. Just going to try to make a smooth swing. And that ball, just a little draw, it's about five yards to the right of the green. Let's have a look at ball below feet. So I'd say a little bit tougher shot here with the ball below the feet. So let's have a look at the kind of adjustments you could make here. Now unfortunately you can't make the club longer as you could make it shorter on the last shot. So what we've got to do is we've got to make ourselves shorter and this is a little bit tricky. What I see a lot of people do is just bend forward to get to the ball getting themselves a little off balance. You may not fall over or anything, but I promise you at speed, you will have a tendency when that club starts picking up speed to raise back a little bit and get yourself into balance. So the key is, whatever would be my natural setup balance points, just squash those, add angle in here, but keep the balance points the same. So I'm gonna feel squashed down in there a little bit and feel like I can get to the ball that way. Very important as well, if it's fairly severe, that once you've gotten down in there, hey, stay down in those balance point th points through the ball if you're going to make solid contact. Now, ball position strictly, again, I wouldn't adjust it a lot here unless it's a severe hill. And then again, I might move the ball slightly back just because I won't be able to get through it as well and I might release the club earlier. The big ball position adjustments come in the uphills and downhill shots, which we'll get to in another video. Final thought on this one, a lot of people wonder which way the ball tends to curve off these slopes. There's a very easy way to know that. It would curve the same way as it would in a putt. So this one would curve that way. If the ball was above my feet, it would curve to the left. But it does it for a completely different reason than it does on a putt. Let me show you a little close up. So let's see, why do balls tend to curve off side hill lies? Well, this is an eight iron. I've got a little magnetic pointer on it. Anytime you're dealing with a lofted club, and every golf club has some loft. If I get the leading edge of the club square to the target line, even with loft, that's pointed straight. But when I start to tilt the club backwards, you can see because of the loft, it also aims the club face left. Conversely, when I tilt the club up, again, because of the loft, it aims the club face right. So it's really the simple geometry of tilting loft that makes the ball curve off these side slopes. Well, I hope you found that helpful. Hope it gives you something to go practice. I appreciate your interest in my videos. Would love to have you subscribe to the channel, get you all kinds of free content. There's a free course here to give you more distance. Feel free to take advantage of that. If you have a question or a comment, leave that and I'll try to get to it. Again, I appreciate your time. 